Hi, my name is Tim Burridge. I just thought I would share with you a couple quick tips I have learnt over the years in um, Blender. So to get started, uh, I think this is one that Andrew Price on uh, Facebook um, uh, kind of, uh, he posted a picture on Facebook showing the benefits of uh, instancing instead of duplicating. So basically I used to say I have this cube and I have edited it a slight bit like that um, and I wanted to make a number of them uh, and then I might want to edit them again later. Normally I would either use the array tool so maybe like that and put a whole bunch of them. Uh, that way you know, if I want to extrude it again it'll still work on all of them, I don't have to redo all of them uh, that saves memory as well but the downside of that is you can't move them like they're uh, kind of like they're connected you can move them um, via these values but that's about it uh, so basically normally I would just duplicate them via shift D and once I edit that it won't edit the other one but apparently if you use alt D it instances the um, original mesh so it links them now this when you're rendering apparently uses less memory um, because they're kind of like uh, the same duplicates and um, so that could uh, cut down render times and computation and BVH builds and everything also if you apply a new material to the original mesh let's make it green it will apply to all the other materials and finally if you um, edit the original mesh it will edit all the other uh, instances that you have so you, know, you could do this like you know a couple hundred times and no matter what you do it will still work on all of the other ones uh, that's a fantastic uh, tool to have. Uh, okay, so next tool uh, is selecting uh, multiple values. So basically, let's make this, uh, this is the outliner. Um, and say I have the camera, the cube, and the lamp, and I want to hide all of them from the 3D view. I'll just drag it out so it's a bit easier to see. You can actually just, uh, Photoshop has this feature as well, you can just click and drag and it will um, uh, unselect all of them. Basically before, um, before they implemented this uh, feature you had to basically, it's, it's really painful if you have a lot to deselect, um, you just have to click and click and click. Uh, and you know, if you have a couple hundred uh, items down the outliner, it can really be painful. Uh, so now just clicking and dragging saves a lot of time. This is the same for, say I have this um, color, and I want to make all these values um, 0.4. You can just click and drag on the top one, type Point four, and as you can see on all the channels, the R, G, and B um, is filling that data nicely. And there we go, now we have point 0.4. That can also, I'm not sure whether it works on render resolution. Yeah, it does. Um, so let's just try 512. Uh, now we have a render resolution of 512 by 512. Um, so the great thing about Blender is if you have one kind of convention of using something which is like you know a deselecting via uh, dragging or editing multiple values via dragging um, once you learn that you can just kind of go oh well I wonder if it works here and I wonder if it works here and you can just give it a go you know like I'm not sure whether it will work in the dimensions but it does seem to let's try 10 Yep. Yeah. Uh, rotation 10 degrees. Yep, yeah, it works. So um, it's worth just pressing buttons and experimenting. So uh, that was a somewhat long quick tip. 
I'll try to keep these around two minutes in the future. Um, bye.